Oh, welcome back. As we earlier said, we're going to be talking about one type of uh, sports, one type of entertainment, you name it, or uh, something that you could enjoy yourself, uh, which is a little bit closer to jogging, but we're going to know more details about it, which is hiking and camping. Hiking on the first place is a very, very important, relaxing uh, way of living or a sports or a trade that could be taken amongst groups or people or uh, a couple uh, and uh, there are rules for it and there are also benefits for it. We're going to be talking about hiking and camping. I'm very delighted to be having with us uh, Mr. Saeed al Khouri, and he is a tourist expert. He's going to talk to us about hiking in detail and give us a full definition of hiking. Uh, good morning, uh, Mr. al Khouri, and let's first talk about hiking, a definition of hiking. And earlier you said before we go on air that the definition of hiking becomes different in Egypt than it is from Germany, than it is in the States, and uh, etc. Okay, yeah. yes, hiking is different. The uh, definition of hiking is different from country to country. Mm. Uh, where we are now talking about Egypt. In general, hiking is uh, a long distance walk. Okay, it could be for uh, pleasure, it could be for exercising um, hiking usually you do it in uh, a trail mm. which uh, or it could be in a footpath in country side so this mm. is the definition of hiking in Egypt okay so uh, uh, you said that hiking is just walking it is it could be strutting it could be like jogging jogging is running but there are types of jogging um, explain to us, uh, how can I hike? I mean, let us first talk about Egypt, according okay. to the geographic area. Uh, if you want to hike in Egypt, uh, so you choose the place that you hike, mm. okay? Is it walking on the first place, I mean? It's walking, it's walking. Usually hiking, the speed of hiking is between four to six kilometers mm. okay, per hour. It's not jogging, it's, not, it's mm. more walking. Because when you hike, usually you carry your stuff, like uh, your water, your food, if you're going to hike mm -hmm. for a long time. And also, hiking is different, depends about, about the place that you hike or the duration that you hike. Mm. Okay, Hiking for a couple of hours, maybe you just need a bottle of water. But hiking for a couple of days, it needs a lot of preparations. Mm. Hiking for a couple of days would need to be accompanied by camping, but we're going to touch on that exactly. later on. Uh, let us talk about the most beautiful destinations or places or spots to hike at in Egypt. Of course, Egypt is full of beautiful destinations, but like you earlier said, that hiking needs specific destinations. Is that right? Yes, mm. totally right. Uh, let's, I will talk about famous places first. Mm. Okay. Uh, one of the best spots to hike in Cairo, for example, it's Wadi Degla Protectorate. Mm. Usually, we hike in Egypt in protectorates, okay? So the, the best place in Cairo is Wadi Degla, okay? Then we had other places outside. Uh, one of the most uh, famous protectorates to hike is uh, Fayoum, Wadi Rayyan, and Wadi Hitan, mm. and of course, Katrani, a place called Katrani. And uh, also we had, like the most famous one now, it's St. Catherine. Mm. St. Catherine, not only the mountain, it's the valleys of St. Catherine. Mm. Also, we have uh, in Mars Alam, uh, we have uh, Wadi al-Gemal Protectorate. Mm. We have uh, also in uh, mountain Alba. This is uh, the eastern south of Egypt. Mm. So we had a lot, plenty. We had 30 protectorate in Egypt. 30 protectorates. But, but is it because of the nature of the ground? Uh, I mean, why uh, the, those particular protectorates? Should it be a protectorate because of the vast areas? Should it be because of the, um, I mean, to, to our knowledge, uh, St. Catherine is a little bit a bumpy road. So wouldn't that uh, come in the way of make it much difficult for hikers? OK. Uh, Climbing mountains is mm. different than hiking, mm. okay? No, I'm talking about the road, okay. not the mountains or okay. hills. No, if you're going to, St. Catherine itself, the, the valleys of St. Catherine, mm. there is, yes, there is uh, trails. We call it trails, mm. okay? 
it's of course it's not like uh, it's not flat. Bumpy. Okay, no, it's not yeah, flat. It's flat. Mm. So it, hiking is not for everyone. It's it's hiking. Mm. It, you you have some tools to help you. That's what hike. I'm saying. Yes. Okay. One mm. of it is hiking shoes. Okay. Mm. Not normal shoes will help you. There mm. is hiking shoes to wear. There is not special clothes, but like we call it sportswear more than clothes. Mm. And of course, it's different between if you're gonna hike for long distance or a day hike. Mm. And the type of hiking, the type of group also that hikes, type of age group. Uh, let us also talk about camping. Um, uh, of course, places like that, protectors like that, with all that beauty and nature, you shouldn't only spend like four hours or two or three hours. You should sleep over. Exactly. So how do you uh, combine between hiking and sleeping over? Okay. Uh, hikers, if they want to stay one night, so they have to do camping. Camping is uh, sleepover outside home. Mm. Okay. Uh, usually use a shelter. Okay. Shelter. Shelter, this is, could be a tent. Not only tent, but could be a tent. Mm. Okay. And you have to prepare for that to take uh, a tent with you and there is a lot of uh, things to to prepare for a day in the in a night in a, in, a, in outside places mm. are there precautionary measures i mean for safety of the place and everything or probably a food special food that i should be taking it when i go camping yes mm. there is uh, there is something you avoid food to avoid spicy food because spicy food you will drink a lot Mm. So you have to carry a lot of food. Mm. And uh, for, for a night, one night, we recommend you can barbecue, for example. Mm. But if you hike for three, four, four days, no, barbecue is not an option now. Mm. Right. What are the most beautiful camping spots? It's the product rates that you talked about, right? Mm -hmm. Other camping spots that there couldn't is, be there accompanied? Is, there is no, not only product rates. We had, uh, we had a nice place in her, uh, close to Hergada called Ghost City. Ghost City. We had the Ghost City. Why is that name? Because it's, uh, it was an old uh, village. Mm. Uh, I think the early um, 50s, most of the people left this mm. uh, village. It's in the middle of the desert mm. because they, they were doing mining there. Uh, so now it's nobody leaves. Mm. And it's, it's deserted in completely? Completely. Mm, that's so why it's fit for her for uh, camping. Okay. Yes, camping. it's, it's in, the, in the desert mm. and it's nobody there, very quiet. So it's a good place to camp. So camping in deserts is different from camping in forests, for example, in Europe? <coughs> yes, it's different. Mm. And, uh, but usually, usually in Egypt, we camp uh, on the sea. Mm. Okay, in, in, in places like Ras Muhammad, Protectorate, or Nab, mm. or uh, Mars Alam. Mm. There is a couple of spots. So, uh, yeah. And also you camp in a desert. But camp in a desert, it, it, it takes uh, a lot of preparation because you have to ha get your food, your water. So uh, it's not mm. that easy. Mm. Uh, how do you prepare your group for hiking? Okay. First of all, we explain for them uh, how to prepare your stuff to go for a hiking trip. If it's long hiking trip, mm. we recommend to have, most important, the comfortable clothes, mm. okay? And light weights, because they will carry everything, okay? And then we ask them to get uh, a sleeping bag, tent, mm. okay, which is shelter, and uh, cooking outfits, Cooking outfits. Yes, we're gonna cook. So you does not, it not require sandwiches an outfit? And, uh, <laughs> because no, sandwiches I mean, does it require an outfit? It's uh, like an apron or something. Yeah, something, something like this, but not 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 like just for fun. Not for fun, of course. If you're gonna hike for three four days, you no, have I mean to cook. The, the the custom of cooking. I mean, you, like you can cook in your jeans or something. I mean, does it, is is there a, a Serious importance for the... It's not serious. Uh, mm. You can, uh, for example, one day we need to barbecue. Uh, mm. So, uh, and we don't have sticks to, to barbecue. Mm. We use balm, uh, balm uh, tree, 
okay, to use the stick of it. Mm. So you mean the tools, tools not yes. the outfits? No, kit, uh, cooking outfits mean... Uh, the, the, the tools? Yes, oh, the tools. Ah, okay, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So um, usually you get your tools with you? Yes. And sp it's special tools for camping? Uh, not special. I, I usually recommend don't buy a lot of stuff. Mm. Get something light. If you have uh, mm. not, not uh, unbreakable things, get it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like, um, uh, if you could say some good recipes or ideas to cook, cook while you're uh, camping, I mean, uh, especially that we Egyptians, we have beautiful, tasty food, and it could be prepared easily, like falafel or something. Can we do that? <laughs> falafel or murakhaya, no way. <laughs> However, we made so it. Difficult. No, we made it before, but, but usually you get... You, you, but you falafel get is okay. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, it's very practical. Yes, very f practical, but you need a lot of oil. You not, uh, you need. There is. You have to carry a lot of things. Usually, oh. get things as simple as possible. Mm. For example, uh, maybe burger. Okay, because burger uh, you will grill it. Uh, Just grilling it. Yes. Um, but also barbecuing is a lot of hassle. Not uh, not a lot of hassle because you will find a lot of wood in desert uh, you will find uh, mm. you just need uh, any uh, iron bars or something mm. like this to grill and that's all you need to season the i mean whatever the you get it mostly r almost ready oh, you you get it prepared with not pre not not grilled of course you just get it no, prepared. just seasoned yes. Yes. with spices exactly. and everything uh, what about the other facilities going to bathrooms and uh, you know uh, if it's a little bit cold uh, probably how to be able to have that spirit of, uh, of, uh, of a camper, someone who is camping. How do I behave? I mean, like I'm in just in a normal vacation? No. Timing is really important. If you hike or you camp in winter, it's totally different if you camp in summer. Mm. The best time to camp in the year, it's usually from September to November. Okay? September, so the, the weather is Se mild. Yes, exactly. Mm and from February to April. Mm. Because we don't like to camp where it's really extremely cold or extremely hot. Mm. Extremely cold could be managed, but extremely hot, this is not easy. Really? Extremely I thought it's hot. the other way around. No, because uh, extremely hot, you will drink a lot of water, you have to carry a lot of water. Because weight okay, is really important in hiking and camping. Of course. Yes. Mm. So uh, if we're going to plan to hike in, in winter, for example, we ask the people to wear, uh, how to wear. Mm. First of all, we, we're wearing and, and hiking, we don't wear cotton at all. Okay? We don't wear? Cotton wear. No cotton wear? No cotton wear. It's very healthy and very light. Uh, yeah, but it's, it's not good for hiking because uh, it keeps the water inside you. Mm. and uh, It absorbs the sweat. The cotton. No, I mean it's synthetic. No, it's 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 not absorbent. It it keep the the wet, okay. Mm. Especially if you hike, for example, you hike for two hours and you you are wet because you are swelling a lot. Mm. So when you when you get a, a break, you feel that you're cold because a lot of you're wet from inside. Mm. So pe we prefer polyester. I don't like to go on details. This technical but that's details. That's very important because some people hike to lose weight and calories. And if I wear polyester, then polyester is going to keep the, the sweat. No, not keeping. It's polyester will not keep. Polyester will take it out. And it's easy mm. to be dry. For 10, 15 minutes, it will mm. be dry. Okay. Of course. Uh, uh, always camping is associated in our minds as we see it in movies and Hollywood movies with, with, ta with horror, with uh, Friday the 13th and, uh, you know, uh, other horror movies and you know surprises and you know probably sometimes it's not safe how do you know that that place do you hike in just any place or just there are hiking there are certain places illegal liable places for you to hide I mean let's talk about Egypt of course everywhere it's safe it's not like anywhere else there is no horror in Egypt or anything but the idea of hiking, it requires certain uh, conditions and uh, cer certain tools and a certain mood. So can I go and hike, erect my tent in any, uh, any place in um, those protect rates, or you could find signs for hiking uh, places? 
for 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 camping. I'm sorry. Okay. Yes. Uh, again, it's different between a place to place. Okay. Uh, for example, if you wanna camp or hike in a place like uh, Wadi Degla, mm. you will just pay the ticket and that's all. And then I go camping. Yes. But if you gonna camp or hike in uh, Saint Catherine, mm. okay, you need permissions because you were, there is no signal there, mm. so you have to let someone know. That you, you are, are there. where you are and for what safety. is that for your safety? Yes. Okay. Okay. And um, yeah, uh, but something dangerous or, or, or there is a lot of things. None of that. No, the chance to mm. made accident in the streets is mm. maybe hundred more time that to have a risk in, in a desert. Uh, like I'm saying, it's ev everywhere. Exactly. It's safe and beautiful in mm. Egypt. On that uh, very beautiful note, we're going to be ending it here. Uh, Mr. Saeed Al Khouli, you are a tourist expert. Thank you very much for coming Most over welcome. and enjoy your time hiking and camping. And uh, by this, we come to the end of the breakfast show. Many thanks to all of you. Until we see you again uh, from myself and uh, my colleague Karim Gamal Dean. That's a goodbye.